So uh, today we would like to present a short report about the present activities and achievements of the GIGOS focus area, a unified case system. Uh, Ricardo and myself prepared this, uh, this report. So uh, this, the next one, please. Uh, this focus area was established in 2010 with the objective of providing um, a standard for the unification of the existing high systems worldwide. Uh, at that time, uh, the objectives were classified in three different terms. The immediately activities uh, concentrated on the definition of conventional world height system including a conventional reference level to which all the existing physical heights uh, around the world uh, should be connected or referred. Uh, for the second term, uh, we decided to concentrate on identifying uh, which products are needed for the realization of the reference system defined in the first term and the other tools required for, for uh, practical applicability of this reference system. And today uh, we are trying to identify uh, key tools uh, to ensure a long-term stability, sustainability and usability of this uh, reference system. The next one, please. The, the main result of the first term is compiled in the IEG resolution uh, released in, in July 2015. Uh, this resolution defines the name of the, this standard and it was called International High Reference System. Uh, we decided to introduce one a name to identify the World High System because in the last three or four decades, uh, different names have been used for the same thing, the World High System, Global Unified High System. Uh, so uh, we decided to introduce this, this name as the formal name for, for the standard. And this resolution describes the five fundamental um, conventions to define the, the, the Global High System, the International High Reference System. Uh, next one, please. Uh, for the second term, uh, we uh, concentrated on, on the realization of the reference system, it means the, the international high reference frame. The determination of the high reference frame is 100% uh, correlated with the GOE determination. So uh, in these four years, we try to compare, evaluate, or calibrate different methods applied today for the geoid computation and based on these results and these results we we could compile an extensive guideline for the realization of the high reference system this guideline this guideline is needed because um, a precise geoid model requires not only um, a global gravity model in terms of spherical harmonics but also terrestrial gravimetry, uh, terrestrial or aerial gravimetry. And this data uh, is usually handled by national authorities. It's very difficult to, to get all this data uh, concentrated in one only processing center. And therefore we have to count out, uh, count out uh, with the colleagues, uh, um, experts in the geoid determination in the different countries or different regions uh, around the world and what we try to do is is to give some guideline for the standardization uh, in the computation of the geoid um, having in mind that uh, the coordinates for the international high reference frame uh, should or have to be computed using the same methodologies applied for the geoid computation. Um, during the, four, the first four years and the second four years, um, we try to write down all our experience and results and we put a special care to publish uh, these results in open access uh, journals or, or open access articles 
uh, in order to ensure the accessibility to these uh, readings, uh, especially in developing countries, and uh, overall, uh, who is interested to, to read these, these uh, results. The next one, please. Uh, could you please, uh, again, three times? <laughs> okay, thank you. Uh, in this in these four years, uh, we separated uh, our activities in something called research or developing activities and computation activities. In the research or developing activities, uh, we are trying to supply solutions to the theoretical problems we identify in the calibration of the of the geoid computation methods. And these activities are mainly uh, led by working or the study groups of um, uh, IEG commissions of the Intercommission Committee on Theory. And the computation activities, it means uh, we are trying to, to work uh, with uh, everything what we now have. These computation activities are being conducted by the GICOS focus areas and work group um, hosted by the GICOS uh, focus area unified health system and by the different colleagues from the um, commission on the GOE determination. Um, we separate these uh, activities in these two groups in order to, let's say, simulate how can be kept in the future uh, the, the international high reference frame. Um, because so, so is a work in the determination of the ITRF, I mean the, the commissions, the IEG commissions and the, the Intercommission Committee on Theory uh, are providing theoretical support to the determination of the ITRF and we have a product center um, hosted by the IERS who is releasing the official solutions, let's say, of the, of the ITRF and we want uh, we wanted to try to see if we are we can we can do uh, the same for the high reference frame uh, this is working uh, we want to present the first uh, solution for the for, for the uh, high reference frame in the next meeting of the iugg 2023 in in berlin the next one please and as uh, this uh, working schema is working, I mean, uh, we, can, we can't uh, count on the theoretical support of the commissions and the intercommission committees. Um, and we, we can define a working group to do the computation uh, tax. Um, we, I mean, uh, Batza, uh, Ricardo Batsaki, as president of the International Gravity Field Service and George Vergos as uh, president or chief of the um, of the um, Central Bureau of IGFS and myself, uh, we are trying to to define um, terms of reference for a high reference frame uh, element to be operated under the responsibility of the Gravity Field Service. Um, we have the idea to call this element uh, EIGRF product center and it should uh, take care of the maintenance and availability of, of the reference frame in a long-term basis. So uh, this product center uh, should be released the official solutions for the high reference frame. Uh, we think also synchronize with the release of new of new ITRF solutions. In this way, we can update the coordinates, the geometrical coordinates including, included in the IGRF and five or six years, what is taking the, the release of new ITRF versions, give enough, enough time to the countries to compare, to compile, to capture new gravity data and to update uh, the geoid models, which are mainly uh, uh, the basic inputs for the determination of the IGF-RF. Uh, our plan, so Ricardo, jo uh, George and Laura, our plan is uh, that we can 
uh, said uh, in the next IUGG General Assembly that the objectives of the GIGOS focus area are achieved and that this uh, focus area can be solved and the maintenance of the high reference frame should be a regular tax of the of the IGFS. Uh, I think this is all I wanted to say. I think, yeah, yes. So that's what. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, Lola, uh, for reporting the uh, excellent progress. Uh, it's very impressive the IH, uh, the focus area moved to the operational IHRF product center. Uh, any questions, comments? Uh, this is Ricardo. Just one short comment about the fact that IGFS is involved. And uh, okay, we're glad to be involved in that and we are hopefully ready to do it and uh, I hope that we will be able to produce to, to um, show some results as Laura stated uh, during the next General Assembly in uh, 2023. Mm -hmm.